My name's Janine Rostron. Under the name Planet to Rock, I make music, video, video art as well. There's something inside of me, and there's something outside of you. I also run a label called Rostron Records in Berlin, which is where I'm living right now. But I'm originally from a small town, really small town called Bolton, which is in the north of uh, England near Manchester. Planning to Rock, the name comes from um, before I went solo, I actually made music with, uh, with uh, an ex-partner um, and um, we were trying to think of names and that was the name that I came up with, Planning to Rock, because I, that's what I felt we were doing. You know, you meet, you, you're writing a lot of music and you're planning to eventually rock, you know. Maybe something different than what people think rock is generally, but I do rock. I think, <laughs> when I'm performing. You know it, I know it, let's hide it's coming. You know it, I know it, let's hide it's coming. You know it, I know it, let's hide When you, When I first get on stage, and then also when I have the helmets, I think this is very freaky. But actually, they really get into it because ultimately I'm, I'm just singing, like, like, you know, from the heart, really crazy, and, and people just immediately connect to that. That's something, there's something fundamental about that. The masks actually were made in the beginning to feature in, in videos that I, I make. This one has all different photographs of myself on it. Some of them are very embarrassing and of like times in your life when you're sort of changing a lot. I think to, to deny an audience your face is really uh, uh, interesting on a kind of androgynous level. So you're not really sure like man, woman, whatever. But you're not sure yourself either as a performer, so you just become this performing tool, this, this being. I'm stood here together with, and you say it. Melanie Bonayo. Okay, let's do it again. I'm okay. stood. Here, together with Melanie Bonayo, she's a fantastic photographer. And she took the photograph of my album cover, Have It All. It was winter, we were in a studio that had no heating. And we, two days, Melanie took like 600 photographs. <laughs> it was just me jumping around like a crazy woman. <laughs> We listen to the music and sort of try to grab the feeling by getting some objects and working with the white and, and then trying to express it through movement and capturing this on film. The performance is always a very open genre. Geweest and, and Een Amerikaanse kunsthistorica die een van de specialisten op dat vlak is, Rosalie Goldberg, die uh, formuleerde in de jaren 80 een definitie van performance dan een soort event, een live moment, waarbij de kunstenaar persoonlijk fysiek aanwezig is. En voor de rest valt er niks over performance te zeggen. Dat is het enige, de enige definitie die je eigenlijk kunt maken. En ik denk van, zij valt heel erg onder dat genre, in de zin van het ondefinieerbare, het oncategoriseerbare. En het heeft gewoon een enorme podiumpresence. Zoveel hangt af van jouw lichaam en jouw uitstraling en jouw heel directe communicatie met het publiek. En zij lijkt tijdens haar optredens aan de ene kant heel erg in zichzelf opgesloten. En aan de andere kant heeft ze een soort communicatie met het publiek die heel direct is. Het gaat om dat live moment dat je een soort emotie voelt die je niet kunt duiden. En het gaat vooral denk ik ook om die kracht. Een soort, ja, een soort vrolijke macho is het. Do you have 
the setting list for the show today already. Yes. Because I would like to go from the beginning okay. to the end. And then the second piece is an unmastered new track for me. Let's just go yeah. through okay. one after the other. Okay. The themes actually uh, in my work to this point have been determined by my album, which was very much about leaving England. You suddenly are outside of your culture and then you realize that how much of your feeling and thinking about yourself is defined by where you're brought up. So to be English means A, B, C, D, E. And then you realize suddenly like, God, I've always thought that, you know, because I'm English, you know. And, uh, and so this experience of being out of England really f took it all away because it didn't make sense anymore, for me anyhow. And I really enjoyed this uh, to reanalyze on a personal level what being from a culture is. I'm doing a lot of filming on my own in my studio and I made a video which actually was, a, was just more like this position, just filming myself like this. And then when I mirrored it in, uh, when I was editing, I got this effect that it was like two arms and just this fanny or this anus. <laughs> and uh, it, just, it was just so funny, you know, really ugly sort of you know, strange thing. And then when you spin it around and mirror it again, it just gets like this very strange, fleshy, fluffy, furry thing. I, I had quite a, an intense childhood. My sister is um, very, very talented and artistic as well, and she's aut aut autistic. So um, we had actually quite uh, an intense childhood because of this, very special. Um, so I think actually coming into society was a bit different. You know, if you experience something like that, then you realize that not everybody's lives are like that sometimes. But, uh, my parents were really pretty unconventional and hippie, and so I had a lot of freedom, so, yeah. I didn't know I had the guts to do what I do, actually. It was an accident, um, because I was making videos and music before. It was through an invitation um, at a gallery, actually. Um, they said, why don't you perform with your music? It's your music, you're singing. And I was actually really nervous. Um, but as soon as I started to sing and perform, it just all came together. It was a really extraordinary experience. It's, uh, performing is really something else. It's really like, um, for, for me anyhow, it takes me places into emotional zones that I couldn't be otherwise. So that, I guess that enjoyment, it's quite like a drug actually, it gets very addictive. Thank you. Thank you.